And welcome back to this week's edition of Bubba McDowell and Breaking Things Down. Week 9 is behind us, and what a roller coaster ride it was, and we are fortunate to have on the line with us Bubba McDowell. How are you doing today, my man? I'm doing well, my brother. How are you doing? Well, man, look, I'm feeling a lot better right now, but what a ride on Saturday. Uh, what's the recap from your vantage point, man? Well, I think we again we 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 wasn't a great. I mean, it wasn't a a uh, nice. It was a nice win. Let me put it. It was a nice win, uh, ugly win, but a win is a win. Uh, we 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 stunk it up uh, defensively. I guess on both sides of the ball. Uh, I think both coordinators did a from Bethune and and Corsaro got Mark uh, did a great job uh, offensively both sides. Uh, Keeping both uh, teams, defensive teams, uh, on, uh, um, unbalanced and, and and scoring points. You know, of course, you you don't want you know that many points scored on you as a defense. You know, uh, and then you don't want to be going back and forth. I'm always leery of those games that you know going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And usually, the teams that end up, end up with the ball in the end usually the ones that come out victorious. But Thank God, they, you know that we uh, we prevail. We came out with a win, so we're gonna stop. We celebrate it, you know. We just and now we're just gonna get ready for Alcorn coming in. Right, it's a short week coming in with Alcorn, and let's be honest and uh, address the elephant in the room: the pass defense, a, a lot of uh, exposure, and let's be honest, the uh, quarterbacking from Jones and Bethune Cookman is one of the better. Quarter. It's probably one of the most underrated quarterbacks throughout the conference. What and how do you assess the deficiencies that are being shown up through the past defense, and how do you shorten it up on on a short week of pre- preparations? Mike, it's just simple, man. I mean, just do your job. I mean, it was a nothing. Um, and, I, and I said going into the week uh, um, all year long, I mean, all week long, should I say, that, you know, we're going to have to work, watch for this guy, man. I mean, he, he – He's a quarterback, again, that can run. You know, doesn't have a great arm and throws, especially, you know, the shorter route. Um, but, again, he's a guy that can hurt you with his, with his legs. And, and knowing that coming into a week, you got you got to figure out how to keep this guy contained. And we did not do that at all. We got DNs running up the field. Uh, we, we got DBs, I mean, simple coverage, not doing their job, losing leverage. And I'm like, good Lord, you know, scramble. Uh, they're coming off guys trying to go get a quarterback instead of staying on guys. So it was a whole host of things that, you know, again, that they was doing wrong in, wrong in that second there. And, again, we had to make some adjustments. We had to put, you know, Jemias Presley at, at safety and bring in another corner, you know, to even get what we was, you know, hoping to get, you know, for us athletic play. And, again, J.P., you know, we call him J.P., Demise had a great game, interception, cause fumble, you know, uh, pass breakup. I think he's one of those kids that de- uh, we, uh, definitely one of the kids that we, he needs to be in that mix for you no know, player of the week. Uh, but again, just overall, Mike, it was uh, not good in the secondary, uh, not good up front, uh, not good in the middle. So we came back out second half, you know, talked to him about, you know, guys, look. You know, we, we know it, it, it was so fitting. You know, when Courtney Brown gave that in Tampa service the, the speech about and my my brother's keeper. You know, and he and he said, he said, look, we're gonna have some ups and downs. You know, but are you guys gonna trust each other and and, and continue to uh, uplift each other when things go wrong? You know, and they we uh, cleared everybody out uh, locker room at uh, halftime, and you know, we just talked real quick, you know, and about what, you know, what are we going to do? You know, I told you guys coming into the game not to take these guys lightly. You know, any given Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, these team, you know, a team can beat you, man, if you're not performing to and doing your your responsibility. So, you know, they promise, hey, yelling, yell, Kobe, we're going to get it done. You know, again, it was a little scary coming out first half, you know, still going up and down the field. But at the end of the day, you know, proud of them coming together in the end and making some turnover plays that was crucial in us, you know, uh, uh, getting this victory. No doubt about it. And, you know, uh, you know, season is full of highs and lows, Bubba. And uh, this was one of those, it was a good team winning ugly. Let's put it like that. You didn't play your best, but you played good enough to win. And you you get 
over that hurdle. And as ugly as it may seem, oh, yeah, there were deficiencies here. There was imperfections there and blase skippy. But we got the win. Now you have to focus on a team who's coming in with some similar uh, uh, struggles. You know, it's not the all corner we've been accustomed to seeing. There's disgruntlement and administrative from the coaching staff, but that's not what you have to focus on. That could be a dangerous matchup. And let's be honest, this game is very critical for the race in the West where you're positioned at right now. And if you take care of this business right now, you pretty much want to be writing your own ticket. Well, you're absolutely right. And again, and that's what we talked about all year long, man. I mean, from the beginning, the training camp, you know, taking care of our business, don't put ourselves in a situation where we, we have to rely on somebody else. You know, we, we made that mistake with uh, with uh, um, Southern. You know, we didn't come out and play our best. Uh, but, you know, as I told them at the end of that game, I said, dude, from this point forward, going to the second half, we got to do what we capable of doing, knowing what we – uh, knowing what we can go in and do as as a team and as a unit, you know, offense, defense, and special team. We do those things, coach. We we go we write our own ticket. And I said, you guys got to be, got to be aware. And uh, whether it's, uh, again, just all week long about you know the importance of you know doing your job, and it starts in practice, which uh, I'm a big believer that you know it carries over into the game time. And uh, again, you know, we 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 in a position where we, you know, again, have a chance to, uh, you know, write our own destiny. But, again, we got to take care of our business on this end, not worry about what other people are doing and how they're doing it, but just what prayers we need to do in order to be in position when that time comes. And, again, that's what we've been talking about. So, again, you're absolutely right. We got to go out, again, and just, you know, take care of business the way that we know how that we know how to do it. Again, you know, and, that, and that's just playing four quarters of solid football. I mean, not not up, not this up and down roller coaster type football that we played this past weekend. Yes, sir. Well, as I say, that's water under the bridge. We're moving down the road. It's time for your grades this past week's performance, sir. And I'm uh, anticipating what you got for us this week. Well, I mean, again, we uh, offensively, and I, I'm definitely going to give them a uh, – I, I, we still have some issues going on, but for the most part, they, they kept us in the game. You know, and I got to give them, you know, a, a, a minus uh, only because of certain situation that, we, again, we, we I thought we should have had. I think Coach Frederick did a heck of a job just keeping those guys off balance, taking what they was giving him, you know, the offense, and then uh, they, they capitalized on what the defense was giving them. Uh, defensively, we'll we see minus all day long, you know, and I still see minus only because, you know, we came back, you know, and got those turnovers over, turnovers uh, done and to, to help get the offense back on the field to where they could score, you know. And, again, you know, like I told you, we, we got to be able to, uh, at some point, everybody play together. And, again, we did that against uh, Lamar uh, pretty much the whole game, you know, and we was trying to do it again this game, but again, didn't it didn't work out? But again, we have to be able to take care of each other, trust each other, you know, in, in order to get a win like we got um, this past weekend. Overall, uh, I would give us a C, you know, and I, and and I'll, and I'll say it honestly, and that's probably because of the defense. Again, you know, we're, we're one team, one unit. You know, you no know, one unit wins the game, you no know, one unit loses the game. Well, in my opinion, but again, we 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 lose, we lose, we all lose. You know, we win, we all win. So I would definitely give us a performance of a C, uh, C minus. You know, at at worst, you know, to, for the whole for the whole squad. Well, coach, I don't know if you were uh, accustomed to hearing this saying when you were back in school, but I was told it C's get degrees. So whatever I can do to keep moving forward, I'll take it, especially with the dub. And let me say, man, I really appreciate that homecoming look. I thought that was a good look, uniform-wise. I think you would. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, uh, man, looking forward to it. I know it's a short week, and uh, things are rolling right along. But, Coach, we appreciate you as each and every week you join us here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And let me give you some closing thoughts for this week, sir. 
Oh, man, I think it was a great atmosphere, man. Now, I have, you know, we haven't had homecoming in a while, man, and just to see, you know, the fans, the alumni come back and just to see that that that, that the home side just, just packed. I mean, yeah, throughout the whole game, even when we were struggling, you know, typically you see people get up and leave, but they stayed the whole game, man. I'm so thankful that, that they did and, and we got that win for them, you know, and for ourselves, man. But it was, it, it was a great event just to see see, you know, um, and though, uh, everybody come back. And I thought, you know, uh, everybody did a great job of just celebrating, you know, the event, uh, HBCU homecoming, as well as the uh, the win. Yes, sir. And it was a great time, and especially with the win, man. And we thank you for doing your part, PV Nation doing their part, and all of us coming together on one accord. He is Coach Bubba McDowell of the Purdue View Adam University Panthers. He'll be in action on Friday night, 6.30 is the kickoff time, Central Standard, against the Alcorn State Braves. And don't forget, you can listen live right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. I am going to exit stage left for right now. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Thank you guys so much for joining in with us. And until the next time, you guys be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side. Your brother, get back at it. Okay. All right.